Don't play D&D with anyone you wouldn't want to go on a three-hour car trip with. D&D is a three to four-hour car trip, except there are rules and goblins and rules goblins and sometimes DM gremlins like that one. By my own logic, cereal is a dumpling soup. Cereal is boiled in liquid. Get a lot of this, loser. They've never had boiled cereal. You will become the marinara sauce on my next plate of spaghetti. A purple bell pepper is possible. A purple bell pepper is possible. Reblog if you agree. That's definitely a poisonous bell pepper. They're adding the stinky meal to McDonald's. <laughs> nice to know McDonald's made a meal for you. Oh! Do not interact if you have no whimsy and no joy for the miracles found within the mundane. You pleb. There is no such thing as being behind in life, but it's okay to recognize that you missed out on some things whilst you were busy surviving. Thank you. Christian rock bands are a backbone genre in the AMV scene. Christian rock band making a song. I dedicate this one to you, Jesus. An unwell 12-year-old girl who is a couple years away from having a gender crisis. This is so Naruto and Sasuke. Seriously, Monster by Scala did wonders for the AMV fandom. Uh-oh, you misunderstood a social cue and said something mildly awkward. You'll think about that and cringe every day for the next 20 years. <laughs> Not every single long sentence is a song title by Fall Out Boy. You know, there are two ways to read this. Do you play Roblox, Pucky Joe? No, I'm 25. People can play Roblox when they're 25, Pucky. I'm not reading what you just said. I'm 25 years old. I'm 25, and sometimes it still hits me that I can do whatever I want. Man, I wish I could go to the zoo. Wait. Please go to the zoo if you want. I am a zoo docent, and I love talking to grown-ups who are visiting the animals and want to know all about them. Please. You can buy yourself stuff in the gift shop, too. If you have the money, you don't need to ask a grown-up or anything. If you want that toy gorilla, it's yours. That's the dangerous part. I now have to tell the five-year-old in my brain we have $20. He could see in my wallet. He knows I'm lying. Yeah, sorry I deboned your boyfriend. I just wanted to see how he would operate if I took all of his bones. The answer is uh, not very good, but his bones are mine now. Yeah, sorry. He has very good bones, if that's uh, any consolation. Yeah. Do you smell that? Smells like pennies. That's a joke for the people who have the most cultured of mean taste. The divorced loser energy radiating from this image is suffocating. This post feels like it should have stink lines. Good thing we have an editor here. Andy, stink lines and the foghorn noise they use for cartoons when something's gross, please. Thank you. Okay, really, rate the Mona Lisa out of 10. Two. You want to give your reasoning? Ugly ass bitch. This feels very personal. You know, as the concept of zombifying fungi becomes more and more popular, I notice it's still referred to everywhere as like a brain parasite. So I guess a lot of people overlooked or forgot how in 2019 it was discovered that cordyceps and other similar fungal parasites leave the brain and nervous system completely untouched. They only control the muscles. They use chemical signals to make the muscles flex in real time where they want to go. It's funny how many people are replying, but that's worse! Like you didn't know, that's exactly why I put a smiley. The sinister one. Having friends who love the same character as you is so, so, so important. You know what else is underrated though? Having a friend who absolutely hates a character you have never heard of. Beef with a man who is truly just some dude to you. Ultimately, the Cheesecake Factory menu fails to tell a queer narrative. Tisk tisk. <laughs> Border. How do you tell someone I'm not ignoring you, I'm just disconnected from reality right now, the days are all blurred together and I feel completely apathetic towards everyone slash everything around me so it's really hard for me to maintain a conversation without saying that? Brain broken, still like you. Talk later. Anytime I hear the insufferable, transphobic athlete arguments, I think of that one time in middle school when my boys across team did a full contact scrimmage against the girls team who typically play with limited contact. And I, a six foot, 180 pound defender, got utterly laid out by this five foot nothing girl experiencing the newly unleashed animosity accompanied by violent sport. And as I looked up at my assailant from flat on my back, I experienced a brief bout of heterosexuality and fell wildly in love and then had to be taken to the ER because I had a concussion. <laughs>
<laughs> From flat on my back, I experienced a brief bout of heterosexuality. Took me out. I hope they still talk to each other, if not more. Opinion on apple cider? Not the alcoholic kind? I don't remember having it, but if it's like apple juice, it's gotta be good. Okay, so it's like apple juice too. It's crispier and more apple-y. It's so, 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 so good, you need to try it. Apple cider is more pure than apple juice and it's actually made of apples. Wait. <laughs> apple juice isn't actual apples? 